Something didn't sit right with me about this Jesus case. The questions stuck in my craw, and when I start having questions, there's no one that can stop Horatio Pan Scrubber, Private Eye. I decided I needed more information about this resurrection that Mary Magdalene had been talking about. Fortunately for me, I have a cousin in the Temple Guard. He was on duty at Jesus' tomb on the night in question. So I called him up and told him to meet me at the scene of the crime. Ace, thanks for meeting me. I've thoroughly inspected the crime scene. Now I just need to get a statement from you. Name? Pot Scraper. Horace Pot Scraper. You know that, HP. <laughs> Actually, HP, you better make that security officer Horace Pot Scraper. Just in case this crime ends up on TV. But you can call me Ace, HP. <laughs> you know that. Sure thing, Ace. It's just for the paperwork. You want to start from the beginning? Yeah. Like I said, they sneaked up behind me and whacked me over the head and stole the body. They? How many were there? A couple. Mind you, I'd have cleaned their clocks if they hadn't snuck up from behind me and surprised me. This is probably going to end up on TV, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Body snatching is no big deal. But if the guy was pretty well known... It'll probably end up on TV, don't you think? Yeah, maybe. Uh, which way did you say the perpetrators came from? From behind me. I didn't have a chance to defend myself. Which way were you facing? Let's see. If I was sitting on this rock, watching the tomb, then they snuck up from behind me from that way, there... Yeah, that's it. From that way there. Both of them? Yeah, both of them. If they both came up from behind you and surprised you, how could you tell how many there were? Oh, it felt like two slugged me. So you didn't see either one of them? Well, no. So there could have been more? Oh, uh, yeah. I never thought of that. There could have been more. Or less. But probably more. Well, the seal on the tombstone is broken, and the stone was rolled away from the entrance, and the burial cloths were lying in a heap on the floor. Yeah? So? So, do you want to tell me what really happened? What really happened? Let's see. These four guys jumped me and knocked me out. Or I would have shown them a thing or two. Four? You said there were two. Yeah, but they were making noises like four. I bet this will get on TV now, huh? Not likely. There was no theft. No theft? Oh, heck yeah. There was maybe five or six of them and... Sorry. Try again, Ace. What do you mean? If you were going to steal a body... Would you take the time to unwrap it before you hauled it away and risk being described by a guard who was recovering from a head wound outside the tomb? Oh, that. Well, let's see. Uh, those aren't the wrappings from the body. They must have brought some wrappings with them and dropped them in the tomb. Did I mention that there were six to eight vicious thugs? Nice try. The wrappings had been soaked in burial spices. Are you saying that the thieves brought extra wrappings and buckets of burial spices so that the tomb would smell nice when the cops arrived? It could happen. 
Did I mention that there were maybe eight to ten professional thugs? Are you sure you don't want to change your story? Why? What did I miss? This is a garden we're standing in. It was freshly cultivated on Friday before the Sabbath. There are no footprints at all in the direction you pointed to. None? None. Okay, so maybe I dozed off a little before they got here. I have no idea which way they came from. Those cowardly rats slugged a sleeping man! Can you imagine that? Did I mention that there were up to a dozen hardened criminals with knives and clubs? You won't mention anything on TV about me dozing off, will you? I'll give you one more chance to get your story straight, Ace. Alright. So maybe there was only one or two of them. Did I mention that they were both well over six feet tall? There are no footprints anywhere besides yours and mine. Oh, nobody's gonna believe the truth. That's what they said and they were right. Who said? The guys at the temple. They told me that nobody would believe the truth. So I should just make up a good story. So I did. I thought I did a pretty good job too. Had you going in? <laughs> no more lies, Ace. No more exaggerations. Just tell me what happened. All right. There was just one guy, and he didn't slug me at all. All right. That's more like it. He was an angel. Ugh. Here we go again with the lies. He rolled back the stone and went into the tomb. Do you know what the penalty is for obstructing justice? Did I mention that Jesus rose from the dead? Why are you doing this to me, Ace? We're pals, ain't we? Better than that, we're cousins. I told you you wouldn't believe the truth, HP. Ugh. I tell you, Ace, if you weren't my mother's sister's boy, I'd haul you down to the station right now in handcuffs. Now why you gotta be like that, HP? I'm trying to tell you the truth. All right, fine. Let's go over it again. You're saying there was some sort of angel? Right. He came down from the sky, rolled away the stone, and went into the tomb. He went into the tomb? What'd he do in there? How would I know? He went in, and Jesus came out a minute later. The dead guy? That's right. But he weren't dead. He was alive in there, and the angel just came and opened up the tomb for him. Then they came out of the tomb. And what happened after that? I don't know. I passed out. You passed out? Huh. <laughs> Some tough guy security guard you are. Well, what would you have done if an angel, more beautiful than anything you'd ever seen, came floating down from the sky to hang out with a guy who was supposed to be dead but weren't? Hmm. I suppose you make a point. What did you do when you woke up? Well... No one was around, and the tomb was open with no body inside it. So I figured my job was probably over, and I went home. I found out the next day that I was fired from my security job. Really? They fired you for that? Yeah! Can you believe it? Temple priests. It's like they don't think people gotta feed their families. Right? So you believe me now, HP? I don't know, Ace. It's a tough cookie to swallow. All this talk of angels and resurrections. Thanks for being straight with me, though. I appreciate the information. Of course. We cousins, ain't we? Cousins. Later, Ace. I'll see you at Ma's house this weekend. Ace left me with more questions than answers. I still don't know what to think about this Jesus character. He seemed to have developed his own sort of mythos that I was unaware of. I needed to get back to the office so I could think things through and figure out my next move. <laughs>